was a dirt bike kid. I grew up on the pegs of a dirt bike. I think my background in the mechanics of working on bikes, working on snowmobiles growing up, really lends itself well to design because it gives me a background or a foundation of how things work. Here at CAD, we do a lot of body panel work for vehicles, everything from medical instruments to prosthetics. We have kind of a niche in the power sports industry. We work on a lot of equipment, whether it's a motorcycle, a snowmobile, an ATV. We offer a variety of design elements. We can plug in right at the very beginning and work with ideation sketches. So if somebody has a product and they know what they need it to do and they know what their customer is, but they don't know what it needs to look like, we can provide a solution for that. We start off on the front end doing ID sketch work in Sketchbook Pro, and then we go in and do the rendering in Photoshop. From there, we use those images and bring those into SolidWorks or SolidWorks Industrial Design and uh, use those to actually sketch and create the physical models from. And then once we have that physical model, we do the tooling design still in SolidWorks, but then we kick it over to Mastercam, and Mastercam's what we use to program our CNC's to cut tooling. Once we have that surface model, we'll handle everything from the print work to sourcing, and then we even uh, cut tools in-house as well. So we'll provide them a finished design with production prints and the tools to go out and source their product and have their product made. We 3D print in-house, and it's uh, a huge part of our design process. It's a fast, efficient way to flush out challenges and problems that we're gonna see in a design. I think the biggest challenge for our workflow is always time. We're always out of time, we're always late. There's just not enough time in the day and we're never given enough time to, to complete a project. So anywhere we can find ways to speed up the process, ways to reduce the amount of iterations back and forth with the customer, that's something we're always striving for here. The Cintiq is key to speed for us. It's the way we get to the finish line for our customers faster. One of the features I like most about the Cintiq tablet is the Express Key Remote. There's enough hotkeys on there to set up for Sketchbook Pro. I'm also able to set up different keys for SolidWorks Industrial Designer. I use it to, to zoom in and zoom out, and I also use it to, to undo commands. It really speeds up my flow, and I'm real comfortable holding it in my hand while I'm sketching in the other hand. The Cintiq works really well with SolidWorks Industrial Designer. We're able to actually, um, in this software now, sketch on the 3D model. So if I'm going to sketch a cut or sketch an opening through something that uh, I'm modeling, I can actually have the feel of working in a sketch program, but then I can grab that geometry and turn it into usable geometry. I can change that into a spline that I can now use to do a cut or an extrude or a trim. One of the biggest challenges we face is extracting a customer's vision out of their head. And I'm able to do that with the Cintiq tablet. I can sketch six different variations of what I'm interpreting from them in the time it would take me to create one 3D model. Mike Schultz is a customer of ours, and a few years back he lost his leg in a snowcross racing accident. And he came to us with a uh, functioning prototype. We were tasked with making that part manufacturable. So he wasn't a typical customer. He knew what he wanted. He knew how this thing needed to work to get him back on the bike and get back on his snowmobile. Our job was to help him make it manufacturable and bring the cost down to where this thing made sense. At first, for Mike, it was about getting back to the sports that he loved. And uh, since then, it's become more about helping other people. So he's, uh, he's developed and, and built a huge business around this, uh, this whole product line. And uh, he's helping everybody from um, Olympic snowboard athletes to, uh, to horseback riders to, to uh, downhill skiers get back to the sports they love. I think the thing that inspires me the most is when I can deliver on somebody's, somebody's dream. This is something that they've been walking around thinking about 24 hours a day. And when I can extract that vision from their head and get it down digitally in a format that they can have tooled or sourced somewhere, um, just being able to, to be that person for them, I think that's what keeps me coming into work every day.